So this morning I'm going to jump straight in to filming and coffee. So today I'm going to film my Aquarius look I reckon. I'll probably do my skin off camera just to save some time because I have a lot of long videos so it's good to balance them with like some shorter ones too. And I'm gonna make a coffee first. I'm very excited, very hyped. This sweater is the friggin' cutest thing ever. It's from Ruby. It was quite expensive though, and yes, I'm wearing my shorts. Like, they're high-waisted, and they're not meant to be high-waisted. They're meant to be, like, a down there, but I like to hide my stomach. So, the information that I researched was clearly wrong. Like, I literally looked it up a few times, and it came up on a few different sources. But I think it was that situation. Sorry if I've got a list, but it's my Invisalign. I think it was that situation where, um, like, one person said it, and then all these other websites just copied and pasted their article. Or like their research but um lots of people said with intermittent fasting however you say it are supposed to have zero calories at all which makes more sense but i don't know someone said that you could have like a splash of milk and it wouldn't affect you whereas other people say zero is better so i should really just do zero but at the same time i'm just enjoying my iced coffee so don't really care too much i'm already eating really controlled calories through my muscle fuel meals but um I won't be losing weight. I have an effed thyroid. My thyroid like just doesn't even work at the moment, so I'm on medication for it. So I was talking about the other day, and I'm on vitamins and stuff. And so I got a test, and my um, my immune system came back incredible. My vitamin D came back incredible. Had heaps of different vitamins, like a few deficiencies, which is why I've got the vitamins. B12 was meh. Um, thyroid was very, very, very meh. My blood sugars were amazing, but I got tested for insulin, and my insulin is like awful. So he said I could be sensitive to carbohydrates, I could be genetically predisposed or whatever the word is, like hereditary high insulin and stuff. I've got a couple family members that have diabetes, um, obesity runs in my family. So anyway, um, we're tackling the issues first by trying to control my thyroid because that's really important, especially with all my hormone issues I get with like cortisol and all that. We're going to see how that goes until I get back from Tomorrowland. While I'm in Tomorrowland, I'm going to try and eat a very low carb diet because um, I want to finish my muscle fuel challenge. They're nice enough to work with me on it. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm just going to stop doing this because there's some carbs in it. But yeah, I'll see how I go. And then we're going to test my bloods when I get back and see how my insulin is again without actually like changing anything for the insulin. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to get the thyroid working because it's really important. And we're trying to get my B12 optimal. So hopefully those supplements are working. I do feel like I've got a lot more energy since I've been taking all of these things. But it could be because of the thyroid or it could be because of the B12 or it could be both. Or it could be a coincidence, who knows. So basically a combination of my thyroid like just being super bad. It's just really slow metabolism. Um, like really hard to lose weight and stuff like that. Even though I'm eating like quite a low amount of calories but I'm not starving myself I'm not hungry or anything but I'm definitely in a calorie deficit let's say that the high insulin just is playing tricks on my body and just can't remember what he said something about like everything I eat like it doesn't matter what I eat right now if it's got sugar in it it's just going to be turning into fat or whatever and the calories don't really matter something like that so I'm just trying to tackle one problem at a time I thought I had my body under control when I got my cortisol lowered, lowered, lowered. Um, but now it wasn't just that. So basically my, I have been tested for thyroid because, hold on. You guys have told me like check your thyroid, like you've got a lot of symptoms for like, is it the underactive thyroid or whatever? Anyway, and I was always like, yeah, yeah, but I've already done that. So this other specialist checked it again. Like my doctor already checked it and he's like, oh, it's okay. But the specialist checked it, he's like, it's in the normal range. But for me, like for my age and everything, like it's like so low. But because it comes up in like this normal range, they're like, oh, it's okay. But it's actually not okay. He's like, this is very low. Like he said, yes, many, many people come through and they've got way better thyroid test results than I do. So he's like, we need to fix this, it's too low, and this will be one of the reasons why you are just struggling. I asked him about my breast implants as well. He said, could be. He said that he's definitely experienced people 
that have had breast implant illness and then he said other people have them and haven't had any symptoms or anything so it's definitely a personal thing he wants me to get on top of all of these um like deficiencies in my body first oh my iron was really amazing which was funny anyway um he wants me to get on top of the deficiencies before we start like you know causing my body more stress if that makes sense so we'll take one thing at a time first it's gonna be the thyroid then it's gonna be the insulin so basically if my insulin's still stupidly high after going a bit lower carb um i'm gonna have to do these like injections <sighs> which you know is like my worst fear anyway we'll get to that when we get to that the like main thing here is that i know there's stuff wrong it's not just not just in my head and it's so frustrating when people are like, Shannon's gotten so fat, Shannon's put on so much weight, but it's like, I can't actually help it. Like, yeah, I eat junk food sometimes, but I also live a very balanced lifestyle. It's just so annoying because people just look at, you know, look at your body and they're like, oh, you're unhealthy or you're fat or whatever. That's not the case. Before you fat shame anyone, it's like, seriously. It's 2018 people. There are many different reasons. People have different body genetics. They've got different body makeup. People carry weight in different places. People have different sized frames. People have different health issues that contribute to these kind of things. So for me at the moment, well it was my cortisol, which if you don't know what cortisol is, you can Google it, but it's just basically your stress hormone. So it's the hormone that secretes when you're feeling a bit like stressed or run down. Um, and it basically puts your body into fight mode. Um, so everything you eat, it just starts storing everything as like backup food. Because it's like, oh, Shannon's like stressed out. We're down for a rough ride. She's not going to be eating anything for a while. Like, let's store this as fat so she's got some energy for later. It's like real caveman shit. But um, obviously it's not the case. It's just that I'm like busy or whatever. So that was the first issue. So the only thing I could literally do to change that was just to like take some workload off and relax a little bit. So I got that under control. Um, and then now it's the thyroid. So some of you guys were right. I have a screwed thyroid. But yeah, I'm on medication for it. And I've been taking it for just over a week now. And yeah, hopefully it's working its magic. And then we've got to deal with insulin. <laughs> Fun. Especially since carbs are like my favorite thing in the world. And like, it's not like I overdose on carbs all the time. Like I love some roast friggin' pumpkin and kuma and stuff when I'm having salad sometimes. But you know what I mean? Like I've been eating these friggin' muscle fuel meals. I'm not a huge rice person. I was having bread once a day. So there's gonna be a few lifestyle changes I need to make for sure. Um, I don't know. We're gonna be on this journey together and I'll keep you updated whenever something changes and whenever I feel different. Um, just cause I know lots of you guys have similar issues and everything, but if you have a similar issue to me, please don't just take this as like, hey, I need to go do exactly what Shannon's doing. No, go to your doctor, go to your specialist, nutritionist, um, hormone specialist, like whoever, and talk to them about what's gonna be right for you because every single body is different. And that's what this um, doctor is saying. He's like, um, you know, I'm gonna work with you. We're gonna try things. We're gonna test you often. If something's not working right, we're gonna change it. We're gonna like get this right and we're gonna figure it out he told me it's not in my head I expressed to him how I felt crazy like nothing I did would result in much weight loss I lost a little bit of weight when I wasn't even eating it was like actually during a really unhealthy eating like month um after my cortisol came down I just lost weight without even trying and eating junk food but other than that like I just can't lose weight it just doesn't come off and he said it's not in your head. I know what's wrong with you and we're going to work on it. So it's a really nice feeling. And he told me about coconut milk. He's like, this is a really good low carb one. It's got 0 0.8 carbs per serve, which I don't even have a serve. I have like a third of a serve. So it's like so low and it's got like no sugar. By the way, sorry if that all was really confusing. I probably got something wrong there because um, there's just so much information to take in. I'm trying to like wrap my head around it all myself. I'm gonna have hazelnut today. Don't get me wrong either. It's not like my weight, like, sky. I don't just gain, like, a kilo a week or anything. It's so slow and gradual. Like, over a few months, I'll gain, like, three kilos or something like that. Like, it's so slow, but it's just a pain when I'm, like, watching, like, certain things or whatever. 
and it's like, whoops, I don't know. It's just like, I know that this isn't right. Like I know something's not right and I'm not perfect. I still eat and I always will. I'm not the kind of person to have this like clean diet or anything like forever. I like having, you know, restaurant food. I like pizza and stuff once in a while, although I might have to stop that soon, you know, if I have to be low carb. But you know what I'm saying? Like I still like to go out and experience dinner out and like all of these kind of things. So I'm never just gonna be like this perfect, like clean eating meal prep girl. <sighs> but yeah, there's something not right. Well, we know there's something not right. Also, don't get me wrong, I don't hate my body. I don't know, like, there's definitely some things I'd like to work on and tone up and everything. And there's only so much I can tone up when there's this friggin' layer of fat, like... <laughs> the ice. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't care about the number. I would really like to just tone up, like, you know, get back to the gym. Which I should actually... I was meant to go last night, but... <laughs> I was actually just being lazy last night because I'd just been cleaning and stuff and I just couldn't be bothered But tonight I might go to the gym because I'm just working. I mean because I'm just filming today Although I meant to see my accountant after work Hey Maybe I'm Here is my makeup I love it I've got the EXO Beauty um, Lucent Highlighter all over my face for just an all over glow and I love So I'm finally filming the lip swatch video or 40 shades and doing a giveaway in the video as well and I'm eating a banana because the sun's out really badly at the moment. I can see there's clouds coming so I'm just like snacking because it's 1.20 and I'm so hungry but I just want to finish filming before I have my muscle fuel so this is my snack. <laughs> big this friggin thing is it's very offensive and very like vulgar looking <laughs> right as I was finishing the Sun came out in full force and this is what it looks like on my computer screen like you can barely see anything so time for me to eat what do we feel like today peeps it looks like the stash hasn't even gone down yet my favorite do I just do my favorite maybe I do Peri Peri Chick. Best believe I utilize every friggin' milliliter of that sauce. Yum! So good. I don't mind the zucchinis like this either. I don't usually like zucchini, just like I like it in like quiches and tarts and stuff, but I don't like the texture. But with the rice and everything, it's fine. Make sure you check out my PR unboxing haul as well. My internet's so slow right now, it's taking forever to upload all my files. Oh, it's number 24 on trending at the moment. Yay! Makeup. Make sure you go check it out and let's try to get it even higher. Love you guys. Yay! Where'd you get your earrings from? Glassons in this video. Yay! I better not be mine. It's not okay, good. And um, yeah, I just think it's cool that I can buy the real thing now. So I just, I just, I've slowed down though. Admit that actually I haven't. I went haven't. To, I went Daddy to, is eating my eyeshadow. I went to Harold's the other day and literally blew up my bank account. Now there is a pair of the black. What are you doing? What? You missing out? We just got back from the gym and I completely forgot to take off my makeup. I like got as far as my lashes and then my account had turned up. And then we were chatting for like two hours and then Hamish got home and we had pre-workout and we were gone and I got to the gym and I was spilling out my dribble and I was like, wow, well, I look a bit out there. And then we saw John there and he has like this color shoes. And I was like, my, my makeup matches your shoes. He's like, yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but you look very out there today. I was like, thanks. It looks so bad because like I already started like rubbing it off and peeling it off. Like it doesn't even look pretty. Anyway, I want to open it some mail with you guys quick. North Beach. Um, I didn't really look because, so I would look for these specific shoes, I'll show you. But I was just like, I googled the shoes and it came up. So I didn't like surf their website or anything. I just oh. like purchased them. Look how cool the bag is. 
a bit of a cost of fortune for us to do this for Easter Beauty. Plus, I want boxes eventually, but anyway. I got these. So, North Beach was like the only one that had them in my size. Well, hopefully they fit because they only come in like women's half sizes. But I just wanted some like casual sneakers because I don't really have any flats. I've got like lots of heeled boots or slip like slides. And Hamish always gives me shit. He's like, why are you wearing open toed shoes in winter? So, I got these just for like comfy shoes hopefully they're comfy I get blisters from like every type of like sneaker apart from these the NMDs by Adidas and my Nike like the real thin fabric ones and then those like five dollar shoes from Cotton On every other sneaker has always given me blisters even if I've worn them for like a year straight like my ASIC wait what are those expensive are they those expensive running shoes start with A for like three hundred dollars a pair but I wore them like every single day of the gym for like a year and I still got blisters every single time. Oh, that's stew. <laughs> no, it's really good. This is the Thai green curry. It's really good. Hamish is like, mm, looks questionable. It's so nice though. It's one of my favorites. And, um, kale. Yeah. Is the hemp protein powder green? Is that what's been on the bench? Maybe. Well, something you spilled. And I wanted to open this. Oh look, it's the serum I was talking about yesterday. So now I've got the proper one because my one doesn't have the proper, oh, wait on, full experience. My one doesn't have the proper packaging. Spicy, is it? Hamish is being a little bitch. Yay, so yeah, this is the serum I talked about in yesterday's vlog. It's really good. It smells like oranges too. It's yum. Thank God they fit. So I got a US 6 men's, which is a seven and a half woman. They only went, ran in half sizes for women. I normally go for like an eight, but like my actual size is like a seven. It's really confusing. But if I go for heels, I usually go an eight because like my feet swell up really easily. So if I'm in heels, like I get like swollen feet. <laughs> so I usually go up a size and the seven and a half fits me perfectly and it's the very end of the day and I've just been at the gym. So I think, yeah, it'll be perfect, especially like in the morning when my feet are like, you know, not swollen because like I said, I've just been at the gym. Um, I think they'll be perfect. And I tried them on with my socks too and they're just like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want them any smaller, but I'm glad they fit. He's stressing. Hey. <laughs> it's really cute though. This is really good. The pumpkin's like my fave. Yeah. Pumpkin mash. Like if you guys haven't tried it, in America they don't have pumpkin like this, eh? Like they only have it sweet. Yeah, they only have it sweet. That's not sweet, it's just pumpkin. No, yeah. What I mean is, in America they only eat it in like sweet dishes like pumpkin pie and that, don't they? Oh, I don't know. Do you guys in America eat pumpkin just like this or not? Because in New Zealand we do not eat it sweet. Like it's like non-existent. We only eat it like this, like roasted, mashed. Mashed pumpkin is better than mashed potatoes sometimes, mm -hmm. I reckon. And it's like got, I'm pretty sure it's got less, is it carbs or less calories or something? Like it's not as dense. Either way it's better. Yeah, it's good. Look. He does, no I'm not giving him any, he does pitter patters. Like you look at the food and he's like da, da, da. He'll do anything. What? You're gonna do your pitter patters? He's not doing it now, he's very still. You're gonna do your pitter patter? Of course he did it right when I moved the camera. It is well and truly time to shower right now and get all of this off and I am so sweaty it's not even funny. <laughs> so I thought my lips were just like stained but looking at them now definitely got some kind of like chemical burn What's that? oh I've got like burnt lips from doing I did 40 lip swatches today Fuck. and my lips are burnt like it just feels like there's no grip like the skin feels brand new like it's been over exfoliated what, uh, what lip swatches were they? um for sephora collection lipsticks so and it's just like hot right now like it just feels hot so it's yeah either just like so rubbed raw or it's like a chemical burn from just my makeup wipes like over and over and over again and then the lipsticks over and over again just all the rubbing so i was reading my comments today and someone said for their thyroid 
like they said something about naturopaths and thyroids and to take iodine and it is in this drink I have little iodine drops so yeah I'm having I can't, I, did I show you guys I'm trying to remember if I showed you guys I think it's like zinc iodine magnesium oh, I don't know I could be lying but there's definitely um definitely iodine in here because it's like orange <laughs> um and then like the powder as well but like I said if you guys have any issues like don't just copy me or anything I'm letting you guys know what I have but if you think you have any issues if you do have issues um you need to talk to a professional not listen to me because you know what's good for me could be terrible for you and we're still working out if this is good for me you know what I mean um so I'll be doing more and more and more blood tests yay my favorite at the moment I'm still feeling quite energized and good my workout today was a breeze um and I did have some pre-workout but only like a tiny amount because I don't want to like screw up my body too much with all the crap that's in it like I literally had like a quarter of a scoop <laughs> it's probably a waste of time even having it really he's salty at me because I didn't give him any of my dinner so thank you for watching today's vlog my skin is soaking up all of this oil I'm gonna go now because we're just gonna watch some tv and settle in for bed it's right what time is it because we went to the gym later it's nine we're just settling into bed now which usually I go to bed early and then sit here for hours and watch TV and stuff. I'm almost at the end of my trays too. I've got like four or five more weeks and then I go to Wellington and get and like one more scan because there's a couple like that on there and that on there. They're almost straight but I'd like them a little bit straighter. See how it just like just a little bit and that one's just a little overlapped and those were my two worst teeth so I'm gonna go back and do a revision and then they should be pretty perfect hopefully but I'm like even if this was it I'd be happy and the stuff that you guys don't see like back here where my bite was all like completely screwed up and my teeth were all twisted and it wasn't hygienic like brushing my teeth I couldn't get in between the teeth properly oh, I couldn't even shit. floss what my worse than yours. <laughs> I couldn't even floss because my teeth were so tight um, whereas now, like, I can actually, like, clean my teeth really well, and in here, it's easy. Um, whereas, like, in there before I couldn't even get my toothbrush, I had to, like, scoop it out with my nail. It was disgusting. But it was just the way my teeth were. I'm very happy, and I can't wait until the little knobbly bits are taken off so I can, like, whiten my teeth, because I need to whiten my teeth so badly. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!